Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, and this is a cannabis business podcast. You can bet that cannabis entrepreneurs are going to be putting these foods on their menu in order to enhance your high. Thanks to increased legalization and endless hours of research dedicated to cannabis, we know more about weed than ever before. From medical benefits to terpene profiles to everything in between, modern day cannabis is nothing like it was a decade ago. So today we know that different strains elicit different effects. You can tweak your high to match your mood. There's a strain for that. So now you can eat your weed instead of smoke it, and we know exactly how many milligrams of THC that you're ingesting in every serving. We've got that. You want vegan or gluten-free? We got that. But did you know that there are certain foods that you can eat that can actually enhance your high? True story. So the following seven foods will enhance your high. Mangoes, they're top on the list and totally delicious. The effect of mangoes have on cannabis all come down to the high of myrcene content naturally present within them. Just like cannabis, some foods are naturally abundant in certain terpenes. Myrcene just so happens to be particularly fond of THC, the psychoactive component in cannabis that gets you high, binding to the THC receptors in the brain. Eating a mango about 30 minutes prior to getting high will make it come on faster and last longer. Mangoes are also healthy. They're known to prevent cancer, alkalize the entire body, lower cholesterol, clear skin, and boost the immune system. Sweet potatoes are known to be one of the top mood boosting foods that exist It's because they're tasty and high in vitamins E and B, which help produce serotonin in the brain. While some strains of cannabis can make you more melancholy, these are those strains that are known to boost mood and bring on a satisfying sense of euphoria. Jack Herr is one of them, and you'd pair that perfectly with some roasted sweet potatoes topped with goat cheese or feta. If you're smoking cannabis to treat depression, sweet potatoes can help increase the mood of cannabis offers. If you're smoking cannabis to treat depression, sweet potatoes can help increase the good mood cannabis offers. Cannabis and broccoli already look strangely similar, so it should come as no surprise that the two make a perfect pair. If you're someone who consumes cannabis for pain relief, broccoli can help. It all comes down to the beta carophylline content that's naturally abundant in broccoli. It works directly with the cannabinoid receptors that reduce pain and inflammation. Eating a few ounces of broccoli before you medicate with Mary Jane can enhance the pain relieving properties of the strain you're smoking. ACDC is one of the strongest pain relieving strains there is, and pairing it with a bit of steamed sauteed or roasted broccoli can offer even more relief. Green tea is one of the healthiest foods in the world, high in antioxidants that can help protect from free radical damage and keep you healthy. It also protects the heart, promotes bone health, helps prevent lung cancer, and may help prevent Alzheimer's disease. It's also high in catechin, an antioxidant that has a particular affinity with CB1 receptors in the brain. When combined with cannabis, green tea can increase the feeling of peace and relaxation. Next time you light up, make sure to do with a big old cup of green tea, which can improve your mood and release any lingering stress. Don't like green tea? Well, black tea is also high in K-10, making it the perfect alternative to enhance your high. Nuts. If you're someone who prefers edibles over smoking cannabis, consuming nuts and high omega-3s can speed up the effect you feel. Edibles typically take a while to kick in, but healthy omega-3s make the process faster by binding the cannabidiol receptors in the brain. In turn, this helps the cannabis present in your body to pass through the blood-brain barrier. Not only does this decrease the time it takes to feel the effects, but you can also make your high last longer. Herbs. The terpene profile of certain herbs can help enhance your high. The terpene pinene is a naturally present herb like sage and thyme and is known to open up passages in the lungs. This increases cannabinoid absorption that allows cannabis to pass through the blood-brain barrier more quickly. This will make your high come on faster and increase the time it lasts. Whether you're consuming cannabis for this purpose or consumed a strain that increased your anxiety and paranoia, foods high in the terpene limonene can help reduce your anxiety, stress, or depression you might be feeling. Lemongrass, lemon basil, and lemon thyme are all high in limonene. Speaking of getting too high, black peppers can also bring you back down. So if you can't stomach chewing on peppercorn or two, just a few whiffs of black pepper will almost instantly counteract any cannabis-inducing anxiety. Chocolate has been known to improve the mood and elicit feelings of euphoria. Chocolate has been known to improve mood and elicit feelings of euphoria. As it turns out, chocolate is high in anandamide, uh, the same chemical compound found in cannabis that's known to produce those fabulous feelings of euphoria. 
discovered in 1992, anandamide was the first endocannabinoid isolated in the human brain. The researchers who discovered it named it anandamide after the Sanskrit word ananda, which means bliss, but can't be pronounced apparently. Consuming chocolate and cannabis together can help activate receptors in the brain that make you feel euphoric. If you're into edibles, this can make those brownies even more special. If smoking cannabis is your thing, chow out on a few ounces of chocolate before you partake, and this will be your blissful baked experience. And with that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge, and I'm out.